So on this server, we're going to create a certificate request for a third-party certificate provider, in this case GoDaddy. As you can see, I'm logged into DCO2. And quite simply, the best way to do this is actually using IIS. Um, as you can see, in Server Manager, I, I have the IIS role installed. So I will right-click my server and use the IIS Manager. I'll click on my server. And you'll see the server certificates option. From here, I'll go to create a certificate request. I will put in the name of the domain, the common name of the certificate I want. I will put in the legal business name. For organizational unit, I usually put in OU or IT. Uh, city, state. Uh, in this case, the cryptography, crypt cryptographic service provider is is what we want at RSA. Um, but you do need to change the bit length. GoDaddy, for example, wants uh, 2,000 bit or better. I usually go with a 4,000 bit. And we'll save the certificate file or the certificate request file. to the desktop. So at this point, uh, we've completed the certificate request from the server. Uh, you'll see there's a file here. You're going to want to copy and paste the contents of this file into your certificate provider's website where you can then add more names to it. They will then approve it and give you a certificate for download. Which will In our last video we created a certificate request. I took the certificate request to GoDaddy's website, requested the certificate from the website and they provided me with the download of our certificate. I then extracted it to a folder and as you can see we have two files. So in order to import the certificate into the server, we're going to need to use the MMC console. File, add, remove, snap in. Select certificates and choose the local computer account. As you can see, the current personal store is empty. So we will right click, all tasks and import. We will follow through the wizard, browse to our, our extracted folder, and select our certificate. Hit next, next, finish. So you can now see the certificate is in our store. However, we have a problem. We do not have the private key. Otherwise, it would say it here, or there would be a little icon. So we'll need to fix that. So I'll show you how to do that now. So our certificate has some properties we need to take a look at. First of all, the subject is adfs.domain.com and the subject alternative is a various assortment of names. So the certificate actually looks good. Now in order to fix the certificate, and this is a typical GoDaddy thing that I see all the time, we're going to need the actual serial number. So we're going to copy that. We're going to go to PowerShell. We're going to run cert util repair store my store, we're going to paste the serial number without the spaces and hit enter. As you can see the, the commands completed successfully. If I go back to the computer snap in and refresh we now see the key icon which tells us we have the private key. So we can now use the certificate for any of our services, for example, IIS, Exchange, Link, etc. So another thing to notice about the certificate is right now the friendly name is blank. Uh, it's always nice to uh, fix that. So we will right click properties and we'll just give it a friendly name. I like to call it cert provider date and that way we have an idea when it might be expiring on us. Hit apply and OK. And now I'll give you an example of how to use the certificate. 
So for example, if you're running IIS, and you wanted to bind it or use SSL, secure socket layer, we right click the server, go to IIS manager. You can see server or IIS manager uses is IIS, man, or IIS services 8, very similar to IIS 7 in server 2008. So when we go to our website and we go to bindings, we can then add a binding for HTTPS and we can select our certificate and you can see that the friendly name comes into play. We can now test our website by going to localhost. We will get a, a prompt with the certificate being there's an issue and that's because I called it localhost. If I had used a proper name or if I had DNS working um, you would find that it, it would go straight to the next page here. So you can see that the certificates here is an error um, but when we go to view the certificate we're actually using the GoDaddy certificate.